Hey guys, uh, so we're going to do a little machining today and what it's on is this scope mount and we're going to uh, tighten this radius up, make the radius smaller where it mounts to the barrel, the concave area there and let me show you some pictures. This is a friend of mine at work, he's got a 22 rifle that he wants to mount this on. The problem is that the radius of the mount is... Uh, bigger than the radius of the barrel so what did I touch there uh, touching all kinds of buttons okay so hopefully that's coming through you can see that the the radius of the mount is bigger than the barrel so it's contacting right in the center of the uh, mount so if you put the screws in it it have the potential to be able to rock back and forth and not really maintain zero now uh, he measured the barrel for me and it's 650 thousandths so we need to make this as close to 650 thousandths as we can um, and what we're going to do is I've I couldn't find a 650 thousandths ball in end mill, so I ordered a 16 millimeter ball in, and that's 630 thousandths. So we're going to mount this up in the vise and uh, center it up, and just run a 16 millimeter ball end end mill down there. I'm going to turn a uh, piece of stock to where I can wrap some sandpaper around it, to where I get the exact 630 thousandths diameter of this barrel to where I can run down and uh, finish sanding the, the inside of this out to get the exact diameter that we need. So let me get all set up here and uh, we're gonna we're gonna get after it. Alright so the first thing that I've done is I've got some uh, parallels in here so that I can mount the the mount in here. I'm going to push down, snug that up just a bit, give it a couple little taps, snug it up a little bit more. Now we need to find the center of this and the way I'm going to do that is we're going to come down with this edge finder And I'm going to zero it on the back jaw. And then on my DRO, I've got a half uh, function. That will, whenever I zero it on the uh, movable jaw, it'll tell me what the center is. And I'll, I'll show you how that works. So... Come up here on my DRO, I'm going to zero that out. Now we'll just go ahead and zero everything out. Whenever that kicks off to the side, that's the, that's the edge of the uh, movable jaw. Now I'm going to come up here. There's my half function. I'm going to click half. Click Y. And there's the the half or the center of where this needs to be. So I'm going to go ahead and start moving until this reads zero on the Y axis. I'm going to go too far. So now we're dead, dead in the center. Very nice to have a decent readout. So now all I've got to do is 
is put my uh, 16 millimeter ball end end mill in and run it down the center of that a couple times till we get the uh, depth that we need and see see where we're at so let me get the uh, cutter changed over I'm going to come down to like touch the mount. I'm going to lock my quill. And I'm going to back off. I'm going to zero my my uh, knee here. And that's just so that I can keep track of how deep I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm going to come down about 5,000 so I can started up so let's see how close we are to the uh, center Okay, that looks pretty good so now now I could probably leave it like that that's probably close enough he was saying as long as he's got contact on the edges he would be he'd be fine with that but I'm gonna go ahead and turn a uh, piece of stock that's just under 650 thousandths we're gonna wrap it in sandpaper and make sure that even with it wrapped with sandpaper uh, that it's about 650 thousandths in diameter and then I'm gonna finish this off uh, with sandpaper, maybe 120 grit or something. And try to get this right on the, right on the money. So let me get a piece of stock turned. All right guys, so I don't think I'm gonna do any more to it and I'll show you why. Let me get this out of the way. Okay, so I ended up turning a piece of stock here that my original plan was I was going to wrap some sandpaper around it that equaled the diameter of that barrel, or slightly under, which you can see that's uh, about 243 thousandths. Because I'd rather, I'd rather the radius be slightly too small than too big. Too big was the problem that we started out with, and then you're you're touching right in the center line of that on the barrel. If the radius is smaller on the mount, you're touching at least two sides, you know, which would be better. So I did that, and I thought, you know, let me turn a piece of stock that's the exact diameter of the barrel, kind of as a gauge, so that we can, you know, see how it fits. So that's exactly what I did. I turned a little piece of aluminum, 650 and a half thousandths, which is exactly the measurement that he got. And when I fit this in here, I mean, that is almost the perfect fit that you would want. You can see at the very bottom, the very center, it doesn't quite touch, but I think that's perfect. I think you would rather have nice good firm contact on both sides and either the very center here either not touch or be very very light whenever it's screwed down so i think this is where we're gonna we're gonna leave it that's uh, uh in my opinion that's about as good of a fit as you can you can you can want on something like this anyway real quick uh using a ball end mill to uh, radius out a, a scope mount for a 22 rifle you guys take care. We'll see you.